Today, I want to get into J-Hope losing all hope during a documentary and what happened there. I want to talk about J-Hope, who is believed to have a date to when he is enlisting currently, and J-Hope talking about it recently. We also have the military upset over what a soldier said about J. Upset over something a soldier said about J. So hey dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab your dumplings, he's spilling mug merch, and let's go. Jin recently has been enlisted in the military, of course, we know this already. And it was very surprising when the news hit, as we all thought he would be exempt. But what is even more surprising is when you think about the idea that a celebrity at that level, and a celebrity that makes that much money, is doing something that everyone else in that country has to do. So it's almost an equalizer, but at the same time, it's quite odd, right? You would never expect to run into someone like Beyonce at Walmart all by herself. So it's giving a very similar vibe to a lot of people, even even though it's very normal for male idols to enlist. So the big question came out here, which is this idea that if anyone bumped into Jin while he was serving and obviously was a fan, how would they react? How would you react? Obviously, you'd probably freak out. Jin likely looks flawless and his skin probably glows and he just looks very good. This is obviously because he has the money and is able to get the proper treatments for things like scars and pimples. So naturally, he is going to look very good. Things like posture and a body frame are all things that he was very closely monitored and worked on. He probably also knows exactly how many calories to eat and what that would look like on his body. So of course he is going to look like a picture perfect standard of beauty. In terms of personality and just aura, if you've ever been around someone who is famous or successful, you definitely notice their aura is different. It's not your average person, it's someone who stands out in a crowd. It's someone who walks differently and a lot of that can be taught. And these are all things that would make Jin stand out from a crowd. Even if you did not know who he was, you'd probably think, oh wow, this guy is different. These are the type of people where you could take away their fame, money, and everything, and they would just be able to recreate it again. One soldier noticed that Jin was at the camp and then accidentally blurted out, oh wow, that's Jin. The soldier was less than a meter away from Jin when he noticed that. And of course, naturally, that would be your reaction. I think even someone that isn't starstruck would have such a reaction because it's someone that you recognize. Like even if it was a friend that you hadn't seen in many years, naturally those words would come out. And they would come out without even thinking, let alone someone who is a global star. Of course, in moments where you're supposed to be silent, if you do speak, you're going to get in trouble. And that is exactly what happened. The soldier ended up getting in big trouble and he was scolded. Not only was he scolded, but the entire team got scolded too. So I'm wondering if Jin got in trouble too and then they all had to do an extra push up because of this soldier. Now, this wasn't exactly a particular interview that the soldier was doing or anything like that. The confession came from a letter that the soldier had written to his family. And I guess the family leaked the letter. Everyone thought this was hilarious and they felt like they would have done the exact same thing unconsciously. No one seemed to be too upset at the soldier and there's no point in being upset now as it has passed and it probably wasn't anything too crazy. Maybe just like 10 extra push-ups or a jog. I don't know. Of course, Jin has been in the military for a while now, so he has likely made some mistakes that cause punishment too. So he is probably understanding of that. Fast forward, apparently J-Hope is preparing to enlist very soon and I definitely want to get into what is happening with that a little bit later. But before the enlistment, J-Hope will be releasing a bit of content and some things we can look forward to. I absolutely love when artists release behind the scenes stuff for us to watch. We get to see them prepare for their shows and recently it was announced that J-Hope will be releasing J-Hope in the Box on Disney+. Plus. This is just his documentary of the process in creating his Jack in the Box album. It was believed that a specific clip was leaked from there since the documentary is not out yet and I don't know where else this clip would come from but it's also very likely the clip was not from the documentary so just bear with me on that but I will be trying to react to the documentary on Patreon if it's possible to get it but I do have other shows on there as well so if you're interested in joining me there and a fangirling with me about all this type of content then I'll link the Patreon trend below. We currently have a limited $1 tier that is currently open too. But this clip that I am talking about today is a behind the scenes rehearsal clip where we see J-Hope getting ready to perform at Lollapalooza. This is obviously a big deal as K-pop artists don't usually get the opportunity to perform at these American festivals. And these festivals like Coachella too are very heavily documented and heavily reported on. There's also so many people who are there for other artists that would not necessarily be fans of J-Hope that would like 
likely tune in. So J-Hope would get a lot of new listeners. This is a huge deal. And so J-Hope was being a little picky when he was at rehearsal. Someone recorded the backup dancers doing the moves and showed it to J-Hope backstage and J-Hope looked a bit annoyed. J-Hope claimed that there wasn't really any chemistry between the backup dancers. J-Hope continued to say that he felt upset because he should have noticed or screened the dancers before. This is a big problem when you're looking or working with new people. You often don't know if they will match your standards or you just don't know if they'll mesh with your existing crew. None of this is a bad thing, but it just means it wasn't a good fit similar to a relationship. Unfortunately, jobs often have money involved and so losing a job that wasn't a good fit could mean that you don't have a rent or meal. However, thinking of this from the point of view of the idol and entertainer, they can't keep entertaining new dancers that aren't up to their standards because then the idol will get backlash for putting on a subpar show. J-Hope was a little upset in the clip and the other crew reassured J-Hope that the chemistry will build the longer they all rehearse together. And then several of the comments were talking about J-Hope appearing really mean and that if they were told that they don't have chemistry as a dancer, they would likely just quit or cry. And I get that. Others were saying that J-Hope's standards are very high. And it's not particularly that the standards are high in my opinion. It's just that J-Hope is a dancer. So when he looks at someone dancing, it's very easy for him to spot imperfections. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Whereas let's say he's not an actor, he might not notice acting imperfections and thus his standards for that would be lower. But anywho, I love that this was a clip that was shown and J-Hope will have this documentary for ARMY to watch over and over again when they miss him. J-Hope recently talked about the enlistment again and it shocked ARMY's what he said. When J-Hope was on Jay Park's show, he talked about his feelings and then said goodbye to ARMY. I want to read exactly what was translated from Korean to English and what was believed that he said. Keep in mind that this is a translation, so there likely could be some errors. J-Hope said, you are the driving force behind me being able to move, create something, and show you the results. You are the one who gives me strength with the hope that I'll stay in your heart deeply for a long time. I'll continue to show good sides and I'll be back after finishing the military service. Love you. People were saying that this was J-Hope's way of saying that the service is very soon. There's no reason for J-Hope to even address it right now unless it was right around the corner because you don't see members like Jungkook talking about him leaving anytime soon. People believe that his enlistment will likely be by the end of this month or by April. Again, this is just speculation and theories, but we can start to mentally prepare for when that will happen because it is confirmed that it will happen. It's better to be mentally prepared than to be shocked when it happens and then curl up in a ball and cry. Although I'll probably curl up in a ball and cry anyway. You could tell the audience was getting super emotional too. People were crying and they seemed very upset over this news. Jacob also appeared like he was tearing up when he was saying that he loves everyone and that he hopes to see everyone soon. I can't even imagine how he's feeling. Jacob is one of the members where he doesn't seem like he gets burnt out too much. He seems like he is always full of ideas and he wants to experiment and try new things. Jack in the Box was very much a new thing and I have this inkling that if he were able to not enlist and go for another album, he may choose another genre or style to do as well. It seems pretty clear that he does not want to go and if there was an option to stay, make more music and not enlist, he would definitely want to choose that in my opinion. The boys say that they will serve their country and of course they would want to. It's what everyone else does. It's a way to show their country how much pride they have and how much they love their country. There's likely no bigger honor. However, of course, I can understand if they feel it's unfair or feel forced, especially being from a label that is now international. They are likely seeing the artists under their label from America being able to do whatever they want and live their life without concern that their fame will just go away. I can, however, bring good news and this idea that many artists in America leave for many years, Adele leaves for like five years at a time, comes back and still does very well. So BTS will still be remembered as a group here in the US. And when they come back, Hype will be a much stronger too and have more connections. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.